The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, tonight, scientists, physicians, patients, and friends of Providence will come together to raise money for cancer research. Our next guest recently lost her dad to cancer, but he defied the odds and lived ye years longer than expected. Here to share her story, we welcome Rachel Rossico. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having I'm me. I'm so sorry about your dad. So very Thank sorry. You. But tell me about him. Um, he was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure every little girl wants to say they had the best dad in the world, and I absolutely feel that way. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about his cancer journey. When was he diagnosed? What did he have? So, he was diagnosed February 2012, and he had stage 4 metastatic melanoma that oh, had wow. spread to his heart, lungs, liver, and muscle tissue throughout his body. Wow. So, he hadn't been given long to live then, right? No. In fact, our wonderful doctor, Dr. Urba, didn't actually... Love Dr. Urba. Yeah, he yeah. didn't actually tell them, give him a time frame at all. Yeah. Because he was like, you know, we're going to be positive about this. But my parents looked up later, it was going to be three to six months. Wow. If he had no treatment, he likely would not have lived more than three months. How did he live longer than that then? I mean, he lived 10 years longer than you anticipated. Ten years. Yeah. yeah, it was incredible. And it was because of the like amazing cancer research that they've been doing. Mm -hmm. They had this um, brand new FDA approved drug that had been on the market for six months. Yeah. That's all. And he started wow. taking it. And it was only supposed to shrink the tumors for a short time but instead just totally demolished them. That's incredible. And, yeah. and was he part of a trial at all? or He did trials two different times after that. Um, the cancer came back nine more times oh, during wow. the 10 years that we had. And yeah. he tried different combinations. And twice he tried clinical trials and hung on. That and is stayed. amazing. That's really amazing because in years past, we did not have a cure for that. No, five years ago, they told us if he had come in five years earlier, they yeah. would have said, I'm sorry, get yeah. your affairs in order. Right. So yeah. tell me about, with those 10 years, you probably cherished that time with him. So much. Yeah. Um, I was 23 when he was diagnosed and unmarried, not dating anyone, and it was like a shock to me. Like, my dad won't be there at my wedding. Yeah. Oh, wow, sorry. Yeah, and it was, it was tough, but... You know, the amazing, the amazing support that we had and these brand new medications that came out. Um, I met the man of my dreams and we got married and my dad was there. And oh, we had wow. Our daddy -daughter That's dance so great. It was, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And you have siblings. How, how did they use that time that they know that you knew was precious? Well, we did. Because you, you had to yeah. have many magical moments <laughs> during did. those 10 years, right? Yeah. I have four older brothers. Um, John, Michael, Tyler, and Eric, and their wives, and there's 19 grandchildren, and my dad was able to be there for the births of half of them, like, oh my from the time that he was diagnosed, like, half of those kids were born, Yeah, and he was there for those, and and we all, we did extra family trips, and we went places together, and, and we just enjoyed time together, you know? That's fat. Oh, my gosh, that's wonderful, your yeah. mom and dad right there. Yes, I oh, love wow. them. Oh, wow. That's my daughter. <laughs> So sweet. So That's sweet. really so sweet. Yeah. So tonight you're going to speak uh, at the fundraiser yeah. because clearly the funds make you know make a difference. They do, right? Absolutely. So what is your message going to be to the audience there? Well, that that this fundraising, the fundraising, it matters. Yeah. Um, like some of those treatments came out just months prior, mm -hmm. and. It saved my dad's life again and again so that I could have these precious moments with him and I so appreciate that and and it's not just like it's not just a fundraiser to have a fundraiser it's right. it's doing something right. and it's making a difference it's in lives. making a difference it's saving lives absolutely yeah. the dinner is called creating hope and you can help fight cancer by participating in the creating hope online auction and raffle which are open tonight until 7 15 we'll have a link to get you there on our website at katu.com. Thank you so much, and thanks for sharing your dad with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we'll be right